Hey guys, it's Micah, and I've seen some other Animal Crossing content creators been doing some, like, vlogs lately, and so I kind of want to top on that boat. Um, so this is going to be kind of a week in my life. I've kind of a busy week coming up, and I've been waiting to do this, and since I have a busy one coming up, I'm like, now I can finally do something interesting. So I'm going to try it out, um, and I woke up not too long ago, and I'm really tired. I just did my hair. I'm still in my pajamas, but... Y'all don't need to see that. Um, the Splatoon 3 Direct starts in like one minute. So I'm really excited about that. I think I'm gonna watch Cora Mora's live of it, not necessarily the actual live of it because she's doing bingo and I like how she always does bingo for the directs. And oh my goodness, it's nine o'clock. I need to hop on the direct right now. Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh my goodness, guys, it's starting. I'm so excited. <gasps> not actual gameplay footage, it's fine. It's fine. Oh my goodness. I'll get back to y'all when the direct is finished. They added Mahi Mahi Resort back into the game and I'm so excited. I'm still watching the stream so you guys can like hear it, but... Okay, so I just finished watching the direct and it looks really, really cool. I'm really excited. I expected a little bit more. Um, it looked pretty similar to Splatoon 2. Like, if there wasn't a different story mode, I think it would have been a lot, um, very similar. But I'm... Really excited. I really like the lockers and the more customization that we can get. And that card game, Turf War, looks so cool. And I'm really, really, really excited about that one. Because I, like, love card games and stuff. But I'm really excited about that. I It's a lot. The Splatfest, three-way Splatfest, looks so cool. Like, I finished watching that. I was like, oh my word. Like, there's so much that I can't even, like, cover. It just, you know, vlog but it's so cool and i'm really 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 excited so yeah anyways i'm finishing drinking my coffee because i forgot that i had it while i was watching the direct so i'm trying to finish it while i pick out an outfit so come pick out an outfit with so i'm going on a bike ride because if you don't know i've been doing this thing where i bike ride every single day of summer and so far i have succeeded except for one day i think because i was on an open vacation so yeah so i'm gonna wear shorts of course because it's hot out and since i was watching the track now it's later in the day so it's gonna be harder it's harder hotter um and then i'm just wearing this like blue shirt so i'm gonna go get changed and then we're gonna go on the bike ride back from my bike rides but we're going to the outlets today not the wall outlet the shopping outlets because it's back to school season and i need to get some new stuff why are you swinging so we're basically waiting on um the rest of my family to be ready so i think i'm gonna get some YouTube work done while I wait for them to get ready, so I'll get to you guys when we're getting ready to leave.
so we're getting ready to go to the outlets now. We're probably leaving in a couple minutes. So I'll give you guys kind of like a haul, I guess, when I get back. But um, I am wearing my I have Tourette syndrome pin there. I just like to wear that in public just to let people know that when I do a tick so then they like know what it is. If you want to get one of these disability pins, I'll leave the link to the Etsy shop in the comments. It's not sponsored or anything, but I do think they are really helpful to have. I only have the Tourette syndrome one and the whole point of these vlogs is to get a little more personal with you guys so you're not just seeing me play games and stuff so i'm not i'm like okay sharing this stuff i'm not ashamed of having tourette syndrome i've had motor tics for almost seven years now and vocal tics for almost five years now but i just got my tourette syndrome diagnosis a couple months ago because i've never actually been able to see a psychologist before but yeah, I just like to wear the pin in public, so I'm gonna go to the outlets now, and I will see you guys when I get back for a little haul. <laughs> Okay, so I am back from the outlets. I'm gonna give you guys a quick little haul and a disclaimer. I usually don't get a lot of on-brand stuff or a lot of clothes at once like this. I'm not big on buying clothes a lot, so I usually just like to browse. It's back to school season, so I like needed stuff. So I'm just gonna give you guys a quick haul. Okay, first I got some underwear, but you guys don't need to see that. Okay, let's move on to Old Navy stuff. So at Old Navy, we got these gray khaki joggers and they're actually pretty comfy it literally has a tag that says i'm extra comfy on it and they are pretty comfy and i'm really excited about these because i haven't had joggers in a long time but next thing from old navy are these shorts that just say old navy on them here because i'm running out of shorts so those are the shorts then from arrow they had buy one get one free on khaki pants so i got these dark brown khakis which i usually only have light khakis so got these and then the other pair which i guess is free i got these black khakis because i also don't have black khakis i saved my favorite for last which is vineyard vines i have never gotten vineyard vines before and i was really excited all the men's stuff was 30% off, I think, or 20, so I got um, this one, which is this camper one. I thought it was so cute, and I loved the color, and it was just so cute. Like, I literally love it. Next up is this blue. This is my favorite out of everything I got. This blue Vineyard Vines one. It's long sleeve, and it it's so cute. Oh my goodness. I saw this, and I was like, I need this this i feel like it just says micah like it says me so that was that that is all of what i got for like back to school and stuff and i was just saying literally last night how i wanted to get like vineyard vine stuff because i've never gotten it before and i got it and they were selling these stickers up front and literally i was like okay i'll get this one sticker and then she was like oh we don't have that one oh And I was like, okay, I'll get this other sticker. And she's like, no, we don't have that one either. So I guess like, I guess we're not getting a sticker, but it's okay because I love all the stuff that I got. I might be doing a stream tonight and I might just like put a clip of that in. So I'll probably see you guys tomorrow if I'm not doing a stream clip. I almost forgot. I got this pin, collectible Animal Crossing pin from Hot Topic, it was like $8, but it's like a vinyl pin, so it should be pretty good quality, you know, like, just splurge, you know? So we're gonna unbox it. I was gonna open it in the car, but I figured I would see if it, for on camera, that is tough packaging. Like what? It's like hard plastic on the back. Oh no, it's ripping the box. The box is cute. I wanna, I love you wanna keep the box. The, see, I hoard stuff that I don't need. I don't think I need to, I did not need to rip that part of the plastic off. Oh my goodness, it's Tom Nook. Look at that. Wait, it's not focusing. 
Okay, you can like not see it that well. That is the whole haul. I almost forgot about this. I was literally like, wait, I literally got this and I was gonna open it up on camera. So I'm like, I'm so glad I'm vlogging today because this is perfect to open up. Okay, so I just got back from my bike ride. It was really humid out. I'm gonna quick shower and then I need to get some YouTube work done. Okay, so I just got finished streaming. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. I might try and like read or like clean because I really don't like to be on screens too much at one time. And since I just finished streaming, it was a dream address visit stream. It was a lot of fun. Um, I'm gonna try and take a break from screens. My goal is to not use my phone for the next hour. I'm just using it for this. I totally forgot to film something. So, yeah. So later that night, I just went on a bike ride and then we ended up making popcorn because we were watching Harry Potter Chamber of Secrets. That's probably one of my favorite Harry Potters. We made butter popcorn and I made this really good honey cinnamon popcorn. A thousand percent recommend. And then of course, Rex smelt some of it and wanted it. Okay, so I don't really have too many plans for today. I just woke up and I played some Splatoon, but I'm gonna go on my bike ride now. I just got ready. And today, I don't really have much plans. I'm gonna go to Target to get a few things, but as of right now, I'm just going on a bike ride. It is so nice out today. Like, it's really not that hot at all. It's not really humid. It's so nice. Okay, I just got done with my virtual meeting slash appointment thing. So I'm gonna do some journaling and then I think I'm, I think we're gonna go to this Vineyard Vines pop-up sale and then we're gonna go to Target too. So yeah. Afterwards, I actually popped into Learning Express to quick look at the squish, um, just because it was right next to the pop-up, so here's just some footage of that. They had this Daisy Mini right here, and I thought it looked so weird, like it just looked blank. So I thought it was a defect at first, but apparently that's the way it's supposed to look, and it just looks really weird in my opinion. Then they also had some of these, a lot of the um, arcade stuff. And they had a lot of these bobas. I kind of thought the purple one was cute and I was considering getting it, but I actually didn't end up getting it. They also had a lot of Halloween. They just had leftover Halloween from like last Halloween. They also had Malcolm. I already have him, so I didn't get him. They had the Learning Express exclusive, some turkeys, and they had these succulents. I would get the succulents if they were in like a five inch. I would like that in that size better. And actually go back, they had Gary there for a minute and I didn't even look at it. I didn't know it, I would've gotten them. Next up was Target. I quick glanced over them. Target usually doesn't have anything good, but this was, there was a clip box. I've never found like a clip box with clips in it. They have always been empty, but there was nothing that I wanted. Okay, so I just got back from the Vineyard Vines pop-up sale. And so we got a couple of things and keep in mind, all these were discounted because it's a pop-up thing. So the first one is just this blue and yellow one, which I'm excited about because I kind of just wanted, you know, a plain one since I didn't get a plain one yesterday or in this trip. So, and then it has the little pocket with the whale on front and the text on the side. This polo so I can wear it golfing and stuff. The polos were way overpriced for like ones without a logo. So this one has the logo on it and it's really good quality because I don't have polos in this texture. I th it's like mainly polyester and I'm really excited about this because I need more polos. It's the Happy Thanksgiving one with the little pocket tee and then on the back. And I love it so much and it has a little turkey and with the pumpkin on the side. 
and this one was marked down twice so the original price it doesn't say on it but i'm sure it was expensive because it's vineyard vines and then it was marked down price sixteen dollars now it was only like nine dollars as the final markdown price so no one was buying it they marked it down twice so i was like this is too good not to get so we just got it and then lastly we got a merry christmas one because i love christmas stuff and i also wanted a white one it just says merry christmas on it there was like this christmas santa one and like a summer shirt and i was considering getting that one but i really wanted this one so that's the whole haul keep in mind i would not have gotten this much of vineyard vines if it all of it was not on sale so i want you guys to keep that in mind when you see these hauls that literally the ones from the outlets and these were all discounted and I've never gotten them before, and I needed new shirts, especially long sleeves, so it was just perfect the way it made out. So I don't want to hear y'all in the comments being like, oh my goodness, you got so many vineyard vines. Like, please don't, if you don't want to, like, watch this haul, if you're just going to complain about it, then you don't need to watch it. Okay, so I forgot yesterday to show you guys my new glasses. I'm wearing the new ones. They're a little bit more square than my old pair. This is the old pair, so cracked and musty. There's literally a big crack down the middle of it. They look basically the same, but here are the new ones. And then it was 20% off getting prescription sunglasses if you bought normal glasses. So I got these brow line sunglasses and I've always wanted like prescription sunglasses and brow line glasses. So I thought it was like perfect. So I'm so glad I can finally wear, like, wear sunglasses and protect my eyes since I usually can't. And I know the struggle is real if you have a really strong prescription normal glasses without prescription sunglasses. And I definitely recommend getting prescription sunglasses because this is like the best thing ever. <laughs> okay, so I just finished my bike ride. I need to get some cleaning done. My hair is a mess because of the bike ride, but I got changed out of my biking clothes, I guess. I usually wear like the same thing for like two or three bike rides and then change out of it. But it's not necessarily like biking clothes, like shorts and a jacket or something. It's literally just like my normal clothes. Um, but I need to get some cleaning done. I need to do my laundry. I need to vacuum and I need to straighten up my room.